It's your girl, Anashia, and I'm back with another video. Yes, and I'm back with another video, period. <laughs> so as y'all can tell by the title, I am going to be giving y'all 20 tips about braces and like life hacks or whatever. I hope this helped y'all because like I really been contemplating on doing this video for like the longest. I just never did it. I thought I did it, but I never did do it. So here we are now. But I don't want to ramble a lot. Let's just get right into this video because it's 20 tilts and y'all need these tilts, period, right? So let's just get into this video. <laughs> I don't know where to start because it's like so much. It's just so exciting. As y'all can see, your girl is a brace face slash middle mouth slash whatever train track girl, whatever. I've been called to everything, so this one, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and let's just hop into these 20 tips. And let's just help y'all, make up y'all mind, or help y'all if y'all got braces, okay? First, let me just start off by saying, I got my braces in 2019 April, so it's about to be a year that I have had my braces, okay? So, I guess I can help y'all with it, too. So, number one, first appointment. So, my first appointment was like, kind of like a consult, consultation, consult, consultation, like when you, when you go and just see like how much it's going to be, how what kind of braces you're going to get. Um, they just tell you how long you're going to have them and all this stuff. They're going to look at your teeth. My orthodontist that I went to, they do free consultations. So they tell you everything for free the first time you go, how much it's going to be and everything. So that was really, really good because like I don't want to just be paying y'all just for y'all to tell me something. So I, that's what I really like about my orthodontist. So with me, I have to have my braces on for two years. I get them took off next year in 2021 uh my braces all together was like four thousand dollars but my orthodontists have like really really good like payment plans like they adjust to your know, payments they adjust to like every month you can adjust like to when you want to pay so that's a super plus like i really love my orthodontist so i got to figure out what kind i wanted i got the metal kind like the traditional kind i know they have like the uh cement is it called cement the cement kind it's like all white like you can barely see them they had the clear ones they have invisalign there but i wanted the traditional braces because that wasn't in my budget, like the all the other stuff wasn't in my budget. And traditional is the cheapest way to go, so that's the way I went, period. Number two, my second appointment. My second appointment is where they did like all of my like x-rays, they molded my mouth. And like my orthodontist, I'm just bragging on them because I always seen like people talk about like the goo and stuff that they have to mold your mouth with. My orthodontist didn't do that. My orthodontist had like technology where they got a mold of my mouth. I'm gonna go see if I can get the mold of my teeth. Okay, yeah, I found it. So my second, uh, so like I was saying, like some orthodontists have to put the gooey stuff that people always complain about that tastes nasty. Uh, my orthodontist didn't do that. They just took an X-ray in my mouth and they molded it like with the X-ray somehow. And this is the mold of my mouth. They actually gave me the mold of my teeth. This is my top teeth at first. I'm not gonna show y'all cause they probably still look. But this is the mold of my teeth here. Y'all can't see cause the light. Okay, there they go. This is the mold of my teeth, how they was at first. Like, this this the part. Oh yeah, they had to, I'm gonna tell y'all about that in a, in, a, in a little bit, in like, a, in like a two minutes, okay? So this is the mold of my teeth. They used an x-ray thing to get the mold. So I didn't go through the whole gooey part. So I really liked that because people was always telling me that that was going to be like a bad part of getting braces. But I didn't experience that. Maybe you will have to experience that if your um, orthodontist is not, you know, up to date like that. So, yeah. Number three, getting fillings and I had a cap. So after my second appointment, that's when I found out that I had cavities and stuff like that. I knew I had cavities, but I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I can't, you can't get braces with cavities, okay? So your orthodontist is going to tell you to go get your feelings filled and make sure that your teeth are right and ready to get braces. So I had to go get four um, fillings like all around my mouth and I also had this cap. Now I was like, dang, I got a cap. I'm not going to be able to get braces. Psych. <laughs> so my orthodontist like had to make, my orthodontist actually made a um, custom bracket for this tooth back here. It's the same tooth right here. So they use this mold to make a, a like a like a ring to go around that cap back here 
they use this to make them um the mold of the cap so they use this to make a custom ring to go around around my cap so that they can have a bracket to go on that that too so yeah that was really nice that they you know got that kind of technology i thought i was gonna be able to get them because i had the cap but you can get braces if you have cap okay <laughs> number four how long it took Getting my braces took literally like an hour. Like your braces will not take a, two hours to get put on. Like it's gonna be quick. Like the only thing I'm gonna do is glue with clean glue and just put it on there. Like it's only gonna take two hours, period. Like I swear, just I'm not two hours. It's only gonna take an hour. Like I don't know if it was just me or what, but it took only an hour. And I think when I first got my braces, I only got the top ones. So that's probably why. Yeah, cause they only put the top ones on first and then I got my bottom ones after I got the top ones. Number five, things to bring. Now the only thing that I have on my list to bring to the orthodontist today that you get braces is chapstick because your mouth is gonna be open and your lips gonna get dry fast and your lips gonna be cracking and stuff like that. And it's gonna be real dry cause they have to keep your mouth dry the whole time or they putting the brackets on there so they won't flip. So your lips gonna be dry. So I just bring some chapstick for before and after. You're not gonna be able to apply it during the process, but just bring some chapstick like before to put on your lips before and to put on your lips after because your lips gonna be crusty, rusty, dusty, period, okay? Number six, take medicine before. Now me, y'all, I was like y'all, I was looking at videos and stuff like that and like what I should do because I was so excited to get my braces. So one thing that every video said was to take like a Tylenol, a Tylenol or Advil before you get your braces because like two hours after, your mouth is gonna be sore. Like I always explain, like you can feel your teeth moving, like you can feel your teeth moving and you're not gonna be able to eat nothing. So sis, take you some medicine before so you won't feel the extreme pain because that pain is something serious poop. I'm not even gonna lie, like this <laughs> hurt. <laughs> I don't have nothing. <laughs> Number seven, okay, it hurt for a week after. I'm just telling y'all, this number seven is number six too. Like, it hurt, like for like a week. I say like a week and a half, but once you get used to it, like girl, it's gonna be gone. Like after like a week and a half, like your first time getting braces, it's gonna hurt for like a week and a half. And then every time you get it tightened up, it's gonna hurt for like a week after. It's not gonna be that bad, but it still hurt. It hurt. It don't hurt enough to where it's like, it hurt too bad for me to get braces. Like, no, it hurt just like that week. And it's not even like a horrible pain. You're just not gonna be able to eat. You're gonna lose like five pounds, but it's not It's not horrible, okay? <laughs> it's not horrible. <laughs> Number eight, weird phases. Now, people don't tell you this. You're not gonna find this in nobody else's video. Let me tell you something. You're gonna have a weird phase, sis. Yo first, when you first get braces, you gonna be like, I got braces, I'm cute, period. And then you gonna be like, ugh, like I look ugly. Like you gonna look, you gonna look fluke to everybody else. But you gonna be like, damn, my teeth in an ugly state right now. Cause they're gonna be moving in different ways and everything. And it's just like, my teeth in an ugly state right now. And the ugliest state is when you first get them. Because you gonna be thinking you cute and stuff like that. But when you first get them, you're not gonna have the power change. You're gonna have the individual bands that go on each bracket. And let me tell y'all something, I forgot to write this down, but you do not get your rope bands throughout your whole mouth. You only get them on the first five or six teeth right here, okay? So you're not, don't think you're gonna have a whole mouth full of color. No, you're gonna have your colors right on the front, that's it. I thought I was gonna have color all the way around. I was like, oh, they only put it on the front five teeth. And that's all they put it on. I'm gonna have an ugly face. I mean, a pretty face, cause you got braces, an awkward face, an ugly face. And then after that, you're gonna be fluxy. You're gonna be pretty, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be her. You're gonna be her, okay? And now I'm her, period. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have, oh, you're gonna be cute, period. <laughs> that's number nine, you're gonna be cute, period. Let me tell you something. Okay, you gonna be, you gonna look at your teeth because you look at them every day. You gonna be like they awkward, they look ugly. But to ugly, not to ugly. To other people, you gonna be cute. Like people love people with braces. I don't know where the freaking milk came from that people think that you ugly when you got braces. No, like sis, you gonna be cute. You gonna be the cutest girl because you got braces. Like, like braces just make people. I never seen an ugly person with braces unless your teeth was just like. 
Like, unless your teeth was short, long, short, long, short, that's the only time your braces gonna be ugly. But it's just not gonna look ugly to nobody else except yourself. Cause you're gonna look at your teeth every day and be like, ooh, they in a weird face. Like, that's awkward, like, ooh. But everybody else gonna be like, ooh, she got braces. So sis, don't be hesitating about getting braces cause you think you're gonna be ugly because you're gonna be cute, period. <laughs> Number 10, you forget you have them. Y'all, no cap. You will forget you have braces because like after like five months and after they not hurt, you're going to be forgetting that you got braces in your mouth. Like you're not even going to be thinking about braces. You're just going to be forgetting that you got them like, I forgot I had braces. Like you got to clean your teeth every day. You're going to see them, but you're not going to be like, it's not going to, the hype going to go down with you. Like you're going to be like, okay, I got braces now. Like, okay. And the only time I like get like, like I'm super cute when I got braces is when I get my color changed because like the colors do fade that's on like your power chains and on your um rubber bands they do fade so it's just like I don't even want them people to see my teeth because they not shining but I just went to the orthodontist dentist like yesterday so that's why they they really shining like shining 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 but yeah they really shining today because I just went to the dentist yesterday so yeah when you get your um Rope band change, you're gonna be shining and you're gonna be pretty. But you're gonna forget that you got braces at one point in time. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Number 11, cleaning. Let me tell y'all something. I'm not gonna cap, I'm not gonna lie, because y'all, you know, y'all, period. Okay? When you're cleaning your teeth, wait, let me just start over. Don't forget to, don't forget you got braces when you need to clean your teeth, because your breath will stink. And if you don't floss your teeth every day, you're gonna have food that you cannot see that's in your teeth and it's gonna start smelling. I done did before, y'all. I'm trying to tell <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all. You will have food from the last time you flossed in your teeth because like food is hiding everywhere in your teeth and you don't even know it. You don't have regular teeth right now. You have braces, so you got a whole lot of contraptions in your mouth. That food can hide under, in, over, and everything. You would not know this back there until you floss. So make sure that you floss your teeth, make sure you brush, and make sure that you rinse your teeth. Every time, I'm not even gonna lie, say every time you eat, cause who can do it? Cause I eat a lot. <laughs> so I just say two times a day. Like, make sure you do it two times a day, at least at nighttime, and then when you get up in the morning, because baby, yo. Food is going to be in your teeth. And if you eat something that's really stinking and you know it's not pleasant, brush your teeth because your friends going to smell and they ain't going to tell you. But I'm telling you right now, make sure you floss and make sure you brush your teeth, okay? Because there's food in there. And you don't feel it, but you're going to smell it in like two or three days because I didn't eat it before, period. I'm not, I'm not capping. Especially spinach. That stuff will hide. <laughs> that stuff will hide. Like y'all playing how to go seek, period. <laughs> like <laughs> next, bad breath. Cleaning, bad breath. Look. Brush your teeth. Floss. Rinse. Everything. Mouthwash. Colgate. Period. <laughs> like <laughs> number 13 is tools. Now, I want to show y'all some tools that I got from Orthodontics and some tools that they recommended me to get. So the first time I got braces, I got this little blue bag right here. This is the famous blue bag that everybody get when they get braces. Sometimes it's not blue, sometimes it might be pink or orange or whatever color they give y'all. But you're gonna get a bag of goodies and it's gonna be stuff that you need when you, for your braces. So number one is, number one is, um, Everybody know what this is. This is wax. Your wax will come in a little thing like this. It's gonna be like, let me open it. Okay, it's gonna look like this on the inside. This is little wax strips, okay? Now, people really didn't tell me how to use wax at first, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all how to use it, period. I'm gonna do another video, but I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a little shortcut. So, I never really use my wax. I don't use wax for like, times when my bracket is like really in my gums i mean my cheeks or whatever but when you get your wax you rip it off and you roll it up you got to make sure that your tooth is also dry i mean the bracket is also dry before you put it on but i'm not gonna put it on right now but you got to make sure that the bracket is dry you roll it up and then you stick it on that bracket that's you know that's open your gums or whatever not your gums but 
in your cheeks. Cause once you get like a hole, once that bracket make a hole in your cheek, it's gonna keep on ripping open. It's gonna keep on going in that same hole. It's gonna be nasty. So make sure that you use your wax. Next I have, I think there's some more wax. More wax. They're gonna, they're gonna fill y'all up with wax because that's what you're gonna need. Next is this stuff that I hate. I only used this stuff the first month that I had braces, okay? This is like a threader. It's called Easy Through Floss Threader. So this is a floss threader, y'all. This is for when you use and floss, like the string floss, which I do not use, period, because who got time for that? But when you're using this floss, you gonna, you loop, you loop the floss in there, and then you stick it between the bracket, and then you pull it out. Yeah, it's like that. And then you're gonna floss between each and every one. So just imagine having to do that for each and every like thing that you have. Like this stuff takes like it literally took an hour every single day to floss by itself. So get y'all a water pick is which I'm which is what I'm gonna show y'all next because who got time to do that? So the next tool that I use for my braces is my water pick. Now you may have seen this water pick in my uh, morning routine. If you haven't seen it, go click. It's gonna be like up there, up there, up here. You already know. So this is a water pick. Um, it's basically like a water floss. It go between each and every bracket. It's super strong and super powerful. If you don't, if you want to know how to use it, if you want to know how it works, go watch my morning routine. Okay, it's gonna be up there. It's gonna be there. The next tool is this which is like a mirror that you use to see if you got some food and stuff in your teeth girl uh-huh mm -hmm. <laughs> so y'all seen the back of my teeth mm. well y'all know i really don't use this don't care to use it because i don't know the next which is my favorite my lifesaver is this this is like a mini toothbrush and this is like 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 how i say i don't brush my teeth every single time i eat because i can use this which is like i can put this between every single last one and baby it's gonna bring that food out period it's gonna bring every single piece of food out but you still need to brush your teeth okay i'm not telling y'all about to brush your teeth i'm saying after you eat and if you ain't got time to brush your teeth or if you ain't at home put this in your purse and just put it in between every single last one. And these are not reusable, they, they will stink if you keep on trying to use them over and over again, it's just nasty. So ain't no, after you use it one time, you know, you can use it, wash it off and then use it some more. But don't keep on using it, then wash it and put it back in your purse, like no. You need to use it, wash it, use it, wash it, doing trash, period, okay? So next in my goodie bag, I have this thing which is a soft stick wire bender. Like, I'm not even gonna tell no story to y'all. I never use this thing. Don't know what it's for, but I believe it's to move your wire. I don't know, don't let me tell y'all no lie. I really don't know, because I never used it, but, oh, that hurt. I don't know, it's like rubbery. I never used it before, so I'm not gonna tell y'all to use it or what it's used for, because I really don't know. Number 14. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to me because this is something that is a myth also. It's something that I asked my orthodontist about the first time I got my braces and she was like, huh? She was confused on what I was talking about because I was like, y'all ain't gonna see this. No, she was like, it don't matter. But anyways, toothpaste don't matter. People always trying to say, don't use whitening toothpaste. Don't use this toothpaste. Don't use that. Baby girl, I'm here to tell you that it don't matter because I asked my orthodontist and she said that it don't matter what kind of toothpaste you use. You can use whitening toothpaste. Now, I would say use a whitening kit on your teeth because like you ain't even gonna be able to touch your teeth the whole tooth. But it don't matter what kind of toothpaste you use. You can use whitening toothpaste, you can use Colgate, the minty kind. It don't matter what kind of toothpaste you use, okay? So keep that in mind the next time somebody try to tell you that you can't use like two paces if you get your braces. Be like, girl, yes I can, cause maybe by eight said it. Period. <laughs> so you can use any kind of two that you want to. Number 15, candy. Now, 
the thing with candy is I don't even eat candy myself, so I really don't care to eat candy. I don't break any rules by not eating candy because I don't eat candy anyways. But sometimes I do eat candy, and don't think y'all finna be chewing on caramel because y'all not. Now, I like to go to my grandma's house, and I like to get caramel candy because she has the best caramel candy ever. The kind of just, like, mush in your mouth after suck on it for a long time. She got thick. And that stuff will get stuck in your teeth, baby girl. Don't suck on no candy, don't chew no candy, don't eat no candy, no nothing. Because your breakfast will break and it will hurt so bad. So don't eat candy. You can eat candy, chew eat candy, but don't don't go all crazy and stuff. Because first of all, you don't want no cavities while you got braces, because then they're gonna have you probably gonna have to take your break your braces off, then you're gonna be looking ugly like dang I have to get my braces took off because I got candies. Now I gotta go back to the the regular dealers to get my candies still. And now I look ugly because now I gotta have my braces for a longer time. So don't eat candy, don't bring no breakfast. Number 16, no popcorn, period. Let me tell y'all something. Popcorn is your biggest, well, my biggest enemy because I like popcorn. I like to eat popcorn. I like to make my popcorn homemade because I can put cheddar on there. I can put different kinds of sauces and cheeses and butters on there. But let me tell y'all something. Popcorn will get you in a world of trouble because it's popcorn. The little kettle's gonna get stuck in your teeth and it's gonna hurt. Popcorn will hurt if it gets stuck in your teeth. So let me tell y'all something. Just don't even eat it. Just, just don't. Just throw it away. Just throw the whole thing away, okay? Just throw it away. Just throw it away. Number 17 is colors. Now, personally, I am a girl, so you're not gonna see me with no orange, green, all that. Pink and blue, well no, blue is my saving grace. It's my sexy color, it's my shining color, it's my, hey, I got braces color, period. Get blue, if you want people to see your teeth, get blue, because it looks so cute. And then blue braces is like having a grill, like it's gonna shine, people gonna see it, period. It's gonna be cute, baby, like, blue, blue braces me, blue. I want blue, give me all the blue. She be like, what color you want, blue, blue, blue? I don't even like having pink no more, cause it's like pink, it's just like, I don't know. Pink fade faster, faster than blue do. Like pink be like, I got braces too. I got braces, period. But it fade too fast. Like, uh-uh. Give me blue. Give me blue. <laughs> and blue make your breath look like it smells good, period. Bye. Next, um, reward for my dentist. So, based on hygiene and how clean, I clean my teeth, my orthodontics reward me with different stuff like i get points like it can take money off my dogs i have to pay for my braces they can give me like t-shirts or like gift cards to certain restaurants so if your orthodontist have that make sure that you keep up your hygiene make sure that you clean your teeth before you go to your um appointment and also at my orthodontist they have a little booth where we can brush our teeth and clean our teeth before we see our orthodontist which is always also cool because sometimes you might want to stop by and get something to eat because you know your breakfast is going to be hurting when you leave there and you're not going to be able to eat so sometimes if you want to stop and get you something to eat before you go to the orthodontist they got a place where you can brush your teeth brush your teeth and stuff like that before you go back and see the orthodontist so that's really cool number 19 i eat whatever like food wise, I'm I'm eating like who's gonna tell me where I can't eat? I'm not eating no candy because I don't even like to eat candy, but food and stuff like that, you can eat food. Trust me. You it's okay to eat food. Just as long as it's not no hard like corn on the cob, I'm not even trying with that. Um what if I don't eat? I really don't eat that much stuff that's like hard anyways, because I got sensitive teeth. So just stay away from hard stuff. I eat whatever I want to eat. I eat spinach. I eat all that because, I mean, I clean my teeth. But don't be any stuff that you know is going to possibly break your brackets because you don't want to get your brackets broken because you got to pay some extra money. And you don't want to do that because we cheap over here, period. Number 20. Now I want to get all grown and sexy because let me tell y'all something. When you got braces, you can do whatever you want to do. You can kiss. Kissing is actually sexier. You just gotta know, girl, when you get braces, don't be insecure, period. You be, be like, I got braces. <laughs> like, enjoy your braces while you got them because you're not gonna have them for a long time. And this is not something that you wanna have for the rest of your life. Like, you don't wanna have braces on your teeth for the rest of your life. But, like, when you get braces, girl, don't be insecure. Don't be like, I got braces. Be like, 
I got braces, period. And y'all got a list. I know I had a whole list this, this I know I had a whole list this video because I got my my bottoms tightened yesterday. So I got a list because it hurt, period. But anyways, that was all for this video. Hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it because I have been waiting to do, do this video. Share this video, comment on this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want some more braces updates. Let me know if y'all want to do's and don'ts braces like edition. Let me know if y'all like braces videos. Um, That's all. So I'll see y'all later, period. Bye.